building's empty, but come Sunday morning, it's going to be full because lots of people are coming home for Thanksgiving. And so if you're going to be around, here's what you need to think about to get you ready for Sunday morning. In Bible study, we are continuing our study in the book of James. We're in chapter 1. We're going to start down at verse 16. Uh, in the verses around verse 16, James corrects one big misconception that God's people have about him. Something we've misunderstood, something we believe that's not true, and we continue to believe it. Go there and have a look and see if you can see what James is trying to correct. Then in the next few verses, down to verse 21, James gives us one piece of very practical advice that would change the way we interact with people and change our relationships with people. A simple piece of advice that can change a lot of things. Go have a look at that. Read it, think it through, think about some examples of where you've put these things into practice. Bring those on Sunday, that'll make a good class. Our sermon then, we are going to talk about the gift of Thanksgiving. I can't remember another Thanksgiving weekend that I've looked, to, uh, looked forward to more than this one. And I'm looking forward to it not because it's a long weekend, though sleeping in on Monday would be nice. I'm not looking forward to it because of the big meals that we will have, even though turkey's good. I'm not looking forward to it simply because the kids will be around and home. That's very nice, but that's not it. I'm looking forward to Thanksgiving because this year I need it. I'm looking forward to Thanksgiving weekend, but really I'm looking forward to a week of Thanksgiving. I'm going to talk to you about the gift of Thanksgiving. That's Sunday morning. I hope you can be here. Uh, as I said, there's going to be a lot of people here. It's going to be lots of fun. Uh, if you have a friend that you've thought about bringing, this is a good Sunday to bring them. The sermon will be really good for anyone, whether they know God well or not. See you then. Bye.